Gotham. It's Gotham Gertie, reporting to you this morning direct from the Gotham Observatory, where billionaire Bruce Wayne, chairman of Wayne Enterprises and philanthropist, is about to make yet another legendary contribution to Gotham City. Gotham Observatory, Bane. And step on it. Step. My father once told me to succeed, we need only pick a star and follow it. And so Wayne Enterprises is donating the world's most advanced telescope to Gotham's observatory restoration project. With any luck, this telescope will give future generations a chance to follow their own stars. Brucey, is it true this new telescope can see all around the globe? Yes, if you'll just watch these monitors right here. Dr. Lee? Satellites already in orbit allow us to reflect light from any given point around the planet. From here, we'll be able to see the sky anywhere on Earth. And through this intricate network of satellites, reflected back to our very own Gotham City for observation. Just don't point it at my bedroom. <laughs> Brucey, you and the exquisite Julie Madison have been going out forever. Are you going to tie the knot? Uh, marriage? Uh, uh, marriage. Uh, uh, you wanna give me a hand here? Bruce and I are recklessly in love, and that's most certainly <laughs> enough for us. For now. Ooh. Now, if you all follow me, I'll show you the central control grid. You're a lot of help. state-of-the-art supercomputers placed in alternate time... Uh, miss, you need to stop. Out of my way, you fascist bulldog. You have to have an appointment to see Mr. Moore. I don't Moore. need an appointment. Uh, miss, you're not authorized to be up here. Uh, look, we, uh, she doesn't have a pass, sir. You're overly protective, but you're not gonna hurt me, are you, miss? Doctor. Pamela Isley. Doctor? What can I do for you? Actually, I already work for you, or did. Your arboreal preservation project in South America. Mm -hmm. We cut our funding. There was a conflict of ideologies. Dr. Woodrow was a lunatic. I see you knew him. Yes, I did. That lab burned to the ground last week. I'm glad you managed to escape. I have here a proposal showing how Wayne Enterprises can immediately cease all actions that toxify our environment. Forget the stars. Look here at the Earth, our mother, our womb. She deserves your loyalty and protection. And yet, you spoil her lands, poison her oceans, blacken her skies. You're killing her. Well, your intentions are noble, but no diesel fuel for heat, no coolants to preserve food. Millions of people would die of cold and hunger alone. Acceptable losses in the battle to save the planet. People come first, Dr. Eisen. Mammals. A day of reckoning is coming. That's right. The same plants and flowers that saw you crawl from the primordial soup will reclaim this planet, and there will be no one to protect you. <laughs> you, you must be new in town. In Gotham City, Batman and Robin protect us, even from plants and flowers. <laughs> If you'd like to meet them, Doctor. Cape Crusaders are gonna help us auction off a prized diamond to raise money for Gotham Botanical Gardens. Just a few mammals doing what we can for the world's plants. Thank you all for coming. Good day, Doctor. <laughs> Batman and Robin militant arm of the warm-blooded oppressors, animal protectors of the status quo. First, I'll rid myself of the fur and feathered pests, and then Gotham will be mine for the greening. <laughs> 